Easy, miss. That moment, that beautiful moment where he meets Lois as Superman for the first time after he saves her, and he, she has a moment to go, wait, who are you? Yeah, you know, friend, right. which is that hugely iconic moment. But right before that, he, he throws the statistic about- He does a statistically, you know, it's still the safest way to travel. And he, she's like, uh-huh. And he turns around to fly, and you see this huge grin on his face. Like, he's like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can just see it as like, yes, because he's just smiling to himself at that point. I'm just going to say it right oh. now. He didn't get anywhere with Lana. At this point, the man is still a virgin, okay? And God bless him. But it is played to where he instantly fell for Lois as Clark. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first time he met her, he's like, oh, my God. But this is him presenting his best self. You know, he's in the costume. He just saved her life. And I think he's just like going, oh, man, that girl I like. It's so great. She's totally into me. Oh, she's not my own rival. I think later on, he's like, wait a minute. Oh, I'm screwed. Him again, huh? <laughs> my only competition is myself. And I'd forgotten how, how quickly she gets freaky on him in the interview. Oh, yeah, yeah. How big are you? Um, how, how tall are you? Uh, about 6'4". Yeah. Do you eat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I'm hungry, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. I'm DTE. I'm down to eat. I love everything about that scene. And there's no wonder why that scene was the screen test scene. Like, yeah. you have to have the chemistry right. How are they going to talk to each other that first time? Yeah. And it's a masterpiece. I love, too, when she asks, do you have, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't. But uh, if I did, Miss Lane, you'd be the first to know about it. Oh, I know. <laughs> that coy, this the coy thing. thing where you just sit there going, like, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> because it'll be you. So what I'm saying is, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah. we're going to do it. We're going to do it in a couple of years in a big clamshade <laughs> bed. Just saying. I have one more thing oh. to talk about. This is great. When he invites her to go flying, Ed, and she's, you know, he says, should I get a sweater? And he's like, I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, you'll be warm enough. And then right before they take off, she goes, hey, uh, you know, Clark said that you were just a figment of people's imagination, like, like Peter Pan. And he goes, oh, Who's Clark? Is that your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Right Peter Pan flew with children, Lois. In a fairy tale. He totally teed that up for himself. He did. So you know, in that moment inside, he's going, yes. <laughs> oh, the Peter Pan thing worked. Oh, the Peter Pan thing worked. It was like a nerd's dream coming true, you know? It's incredible. It's so great. He's definitely a nerd. He's a nerd who doesn't need to be a nerd. But essentially... He's testing the waters of having normal human relationships. And I love that. The whole thing of the dual identity is one of the reasons that Superman was such a huge hit. Because outside of Zorro and things like that, Scarlet Pimpernel, the whole dual identity thing was not a trope. Superman helped bring that really to the forefront of popular culture. So the whole idea of a guy presenting two sides of himself and essentially for years and years waiting for the lady to choose which one you know it's like wow ah it, it i love it